Manhattan Pizza Post Game Show on the Game Day Broadcast Network. Manhattan Pizza, serving the best dang pizza in town. Now let's rejoin the broadcast team on the Game Day Broadcast Network. And we welcome you back here, Andy Hayes, alongside John Murphy. 33 to 14, our final score tonight. That was it. Stonebridge with a huge performance from their offensive line and a great defensive performance shutting down the run tonight. Sterling Daly, as usual, impresses. And Stonebridge wins it 33-14. John Murphy, let's take a look here at some of the uh, second half highlights in this one. And we'll show everybody what unfolded here. It's 14-7 at the half, so still a pretty, pretty close game. And right out of the gate here, it looked like Corey Hilberth might take one to the house and tie it up. This is a coulda, shoulda, shoestring. Because if he if he's not caught there by Omar Rosario, look out. We got a different ball game to start this third quarter. And broad run with a couple nice plays to start the second half. And they would go down and challenge here, but big penalty on a pass reception for a touchdown that was called back based on pass interference. I think this might be what it is here. It, yep, this is it. And uh, Fulgham had his second touchdown catch, but they said a little push in the back on Wells. Basically, they gated that one, and they weren't able to score on that drive. And Stonebridge came right back and said, okay, we got the ball, let's put it away. Sterling Daly breaking free at the 40, and he would go. Daly, with a huge run there, put Stonebridge up 21 to seven, and that was all they needed. After that, the offensive line pretty much controlled the ball game. Spartans found some success late. Unable, though, to really threaten in this one. John, your thoughts, uh, both sides. Let's start with Stonebridge here. What do you learn about the Bulldogs here after tonight? You gotta give all the credit to the front line. We, I mean, that's been our theme all night long. They controlled both sides of the line. And if you're Coach Boylan from Broad Run, he can't be happy. Um, there'll be some things that the kids can work on. They got, I mean, their schedule doesn't get any easier. If if you broad run, you, know, you got to get your athletes out in space. Pounding the ball, pounding the ball, pounding the ball isn't it isn't what they what they who they are. And I think you know they they're they're united, but they have to find their identity. And I think Coach Thompson tonight, as we alluded to in the broadcast, they're finding their identity. I don't think broad run has found theirs yet. And they expected that to be their identity. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for the. The first part of the season here with a big game against Lake Braddock for them to play well up front. But tonight, I don't know that we saw one series where they weren't pushing guys 10, 12 yards down the field in right. that big offensive line. But Chuck Davis and the Spartans did their best to make it interesting. They would go down and put a score on the board in the fourth quarter. And this one got pulled back within a couple scores on Daquan Earl's touchdown run from about 29 yards out. But uh, that was it. Stonebridge defense tonight did a nice job shutting down Daquan and Corey Hilberth in the run game. They gave up that one right there, but that might have been the longest run they had all night long. I would agree. And then here's Deontay Yarbrough and pulled down by Chris Moore. I thought the broad run defense, when they weren't out there as long early in the game, they, they were okay. When, once they started to get worn out, they had trouble. Wouldn't you agree? I, I would agree. I think, you know, they got gashed. Um, uh, on, a, on a lot of what I would call silly plays, all right? The spin the spin series out of this offense, the fortunate thing for them is they don't have to face anybody else that plays this offense again. Yeah, the rest of the year. Well, so, folks, we hope you guys have uh, enjoyed our coverage here tonight. Make sure you come back and watch the replay and check out our post-game coverage up online at gamedaymagazine.com and on Facebook and Twitter as well. I'd like to thank our broadcast team tonight. John Murphy, as always, it's a pleasure, buddy. <laughs> Love doing games with you, man. I enjoy it. Our camera crew, Kevin Kotwis, Ashton Sack, Parm Sindhu, and our producer, Helene Shane. We're signing out here from Ashburn, Virginia. The battle of the burn goes to the Bulldogs once more. They win it 33-14. to We'll see you next week here on the Game Day Broadcast Network. I just told him, you know, offensively, 
they could light us up. And we had to play better defense, be in the right place. And that, that was the big thing for us. I felt like we moved the ball on offense. And, I, you know, I think the first quarter is more my, my fault, pulling off the line of scrimmage, trying to hit a pass play, trying to get in somebody's head instead of just coming out and pounding it like we, we originally planned. So, you know, I'll take, I'll take the blame for the first quarter. And then the defense just kept playing, kept playing. You know, they found some things late, you know, in the middle of the field. But we're trying to stay back, no big plays. And, uh, you know, I, I just think we played a great defense in the back for the first time. Uh, the offensive line, you know, able to get the running backs into space and make plays is, is always a key factor in the games. Yeah. I think our confidence level goes up a little bit higher, but I think we need to stay more humble and just work harder in practice. They got off the ball fast, and they, they made all their blocks on the right people, and the lanes were there, and just not hard to run behind those type of guys, big guys. <laughs> they got a good push up front, so we got three, four yards every play. I think that was good for us. Uh, Intertown, Intertown rivals, and you know the talking starts way before the the game, and you know you just gotta come out here ready to compete. They're a good team, we're a good team, and always ready to go. Yeah, they're good, good game. football team. Our defense, they came in, they, they struggled a little bit, but then they came in clutch at the end, so everything fell in part. Stopping the run and, and not allowing any big plays. I mean, I thought Corey Wells played great at corner. I mean, he was underneath of everything, and that's his first start. Um, you know, he's a young kid. Wow, and this kind of atmosphere and to come through like that, that is a big ball game for him. The Game Day Broadcast Network is proud to present high school football. This exclusive broadcast is being powered by Integrated Sports Medicine and Physical Therapy. Get back in the game, the game of life. Manhattan Pizza, now serving Ashburn, South Riding, and Leesburg with the best dang pizza in the world. Verizon Wireless, the official wireless provider of the Game Day Broadcast Network. Diamond Sports Training. Train with DST Performance today. Bellator Sports Memorabilia, the premier sports memorabilia store in Northern Virginia. EndZoneCamera.com, the most efficient and affordable end zone camera system on the market. The Spine and Joint Health Center, offering patients superior results-oriented care. Proudly serving Northern Virginia with the finest spine and joint care. Quarterback University, take your skill to the next level and enhance your future today. By Max Muscle Sports Nutrition, Max Muscle, partners in health. Atlanta Bread Company of Sterling, come for the food, stay for the culture.